Okay, we are at the student pair handbook. We should have a handout that looks like this. And I know that Denny and Kevin, but particularly Denny, talk about this handout. Uh, basically, this is a, a retention conversation, I guess. Um, dealing with course recovery, basically the, the change that uh, I'm proposing that we make to the middle school handbook is uh, for eighth grade students in particular, course recovery will work status quo. Um, really with the only change coming about uh, that, that we're proposing or that I'm proposing uh, is based upon a conversation that I had with Mr. Litter and then we brought, brought Barb into the conversation as well about success of students at the high school who have courses to recover, yet middle school courses to recover even though they're at, at the high school. Um, from Mr. Litter's uh, observations, and don't let me speak for you, please speak up, but uh, basically he said a student really struggles at the high school if uh, they have more than two courses to recover, simply because there's, there's I think, two things that are impacting uh, the students there. Number one, it takes their, away their study hall time to accommodate in their schedule to uh, recover a course from the middle school, as well as that can take away a, an elective class that these kids have uh, so look forward to uh, in getting to the high school. Finally, they have a choice of, of classes that they can take. Um, so essentially, the proposed change in the language is that if an eighth grade student has three or more courses to recover from the middle school, that we hold those kids at the middle school to recover those courses. It would probably be, hopefully they'd be done with that by the end of the first semester so that then we can send them down to the high school. The idea is basically to get the student to the high school as soon as possible, but we also want them to be, a, be very successful when they get there. So that's the main idea uh, that we're trying to get to with the language change. Yeah, and just uh, just one more piece with that. Having had some experience with some kids in some of these scenarios, I I want you to know that the three of us come to you with some background in kind of how this works, what works for these kids and what doesn't, what seems to motivate them, what absolutely catches them just dead where they just can't see their way out of the hole, and then what gets them to be most successful in high school. Um, and, and that's one of the, you know, we talked about being high school ready. If you have so many credits to make up, you're really not ready for high school, but you might be by the end of that first semester. And we have had students start high school from our very district, second semester, and have had, been quite successful. Right. You know, quite motivated. Right. I mean, they're in favor of nice. 